Hello and welcome. My name is Keith Barker, and I'm really happy right now because I just finished creating not one, not two, but three packet tracer scenarios that'll help you better understand the individual components as part of multi-layer switching in a Cisco environment. And let me tell you how this came to be. Uh, there's a gentleman named Paul on the Discord server. Please join us there. We'd love to have you. And he has asked really great questions about multi-layer switching, including the actual ports, the interfaces. Uh, can they be layer two or layer three? The answer is yes. If we are using layer two interfaces, can we have logical layer three interfaces called SVIs or switched virtual interfaces? The answer is yes. And sometimes keeping all those straight is pretty tricky. So what I've done is I've created a packet tracer lab that you can download. And then I got three scenarios that I'd like you to walk through that can help reinforce the concepts of each of those options on a multi-layer switch. So first things first, let me walk you through where you can get the baseline config where you can start these packet tracer lab exercises. So we download the base configuration file from the Keith Barker site, thekeithbarker.com, literally. And if we scroll down, here is the download. That's the base config for these multi-layer switching labs. It's called Cisco PT. I did it based on version 7.31 of Packet Tracer, MLS Layer 3 Labs. Just click on the link for download right here, and it'll download it to your computer. And then you can open up that folder and extract the file and run it in Packet Tracer. So here's the lab opened up, and here's the networks. We have the 10.1 network over here, the 10.2 network over here, the 10.3 network over here. This is just a traditional router. This is a multi-layer switch. And then I have a laptop at dot .50 on the 10.1.0 network and a server at dot .50 on the 10.3.0 network. So what I'd like you to do is download this, and then we're going to do a file save as, and we'll save it as lab number one, and we'll do task number one. So that would look something like this. We say file, save as. I'm just going to add to that dash lab one. And here's our tasks for lab number one. On the multi-layer switch on this bad boy right here, we want to use layer three interfaces for gig 101. That's this interface right here. And also for gig 102. That's this interface right here. So we'd make both of those interfaces layer three interfaces. That's done with the no switch port command. And then we need to assign the address ending in dot two to both of those interfaces. And the goal is to have this laptop be able to reach the server based on its IP address at 10.3.0.50. So we could ping it or we could open up a web page just running web services. That'd be great too. And so to make that happen, we're going to enable some type of routing. You could use static routes if you want, or you could run a dynamic routing protocol like OSPF. That would work too. But that's the goal for lab number one. So that's my challenge for you is lab number one based on this base configuration. Now, if you've done that, I'd like you to take the next logical step and that is to open up the base configuration again, just as you download it from my website and then do lab number two. So starting with the base configuration, the task for lab two is on this multi-layer switch for interface 101, it should be a layer three interface. That was like it was previously, but this interface right here, gig one slash zero slash two, that should be in VLAN 30 as a layer two port. And if we want that connectivity to work, we're also going to have to create on this multi-layer switch an interface, a logical interface called an SVI, a switch virtual interface that supports VLAN 30. Once again, we use the same IP address, 10.3.0.2 would be the IP address on the switch virtual interface. And then we'd need to add some type of routing, static routes or dynamic routing protocols, whatever you want to do, as long as this laptop on the left can reach this server on the right and vice versa. All right, so that's two down and one to go. So let's take a look at the third lab. Again, starting from the base configuration, here's lab number three. On the multi-layer switch, the port 101, that's this guy right here, it's gonna be a layer two port in VLAN 20. And then 102, which is right here, is going to be a layer two port in VLAN 30. So effectively, if we have VLANs 20 and 30, and we still want reachability and routing, we are going to need to create two SVIs, one for the VLAN 20 and one for the VLAN 30 with the appropriate IP addresses of 10.2.0.2 for the SVI for VLAN 20 and 10.3.0.2 for the SVI in VLAN 30. So we have reachability. And again, that'd be once we add the routing protocol to this to make it work. So there you have it, my friend. You've got three scenarios, three opportunities to practice with multi-layer switching regarding layer two and layer three. So I will also have some separate videos for walkthroughs. So if you have practiced these labs and then want to take a look at the walkthroughs, please check those out. Also, if you are committed to attempting or working on these labs, leave me a comment just saying, Keith, 
I'm going to do it. I'm committed. And then let me know how it went. And if you have problems or something came up where it didn't work out like you wanted it to or couldn't solve it, you can join me in the office hour, my office hour on my Discord server. It's every Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And I look forward to seeing you there where we can walk through details of why this worked or why that didn't work. I'm there as a resource for you if you would like. So meanwhile, have fun with the lab and I'll see you, my friend, in the next video.